Dutch. We've got to ban the Dutch. Don't, if, if you come here expecting a racist rant against the Dutch, I'm afraid you're misguided. This is a tit-for-tat action to avoid a diplomatic incident. The Dutch have banned the Brits and the rest of us and the rest of you from using their cannabis coffee houses. So it is time for us in the UK to open up cannabis coffee houses and ban the Dutch in retaliation for this slight. So the Dutch can preserve this privilege, this delight, this harmless pleasure for themselves. The Dutch know it is harmless. Why are the Dutch only allowing it for themselves? The cannabis coffee houses are just for the Dutch. Does that make sense if cannabis was dangerous, if it was expo they were exposing their kids to it, if it increased mental health, like we're told, or it leads to hard drugs, like we're told. So the Dutch know that it doesn't harm mental health and it doesn't lead to hard drugs. They know that. So they've got their cannabis coffee houses just for themselves. For themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? They allow it for themselves. Now, why is this? Well, if you look back in history, it's because of the approval of the royal family. We see the royal family approving various seed merchants selling cannabis seeds and basically approving of the use of cannabis, knowing from their own family experience, presumably, that it was harmless and it was not justified to criminalise people for it. not a threat to society. Cannabis is not intrinsically antisocial. It is intrinsically social. It unites the tribe, it restores the tribal consciousness. So why is it all right for the Dutch? It's not all right for the English. You know, why are we told these lies? Is it our royal family? You know, our royal family. This is the Dutch permit cannabis, so our royal family does not, and they, or rather the Queen, is now head of corporate America, and so head of the World Health Organization, so head of this tyranny against cannabis. The Dutch think it's quite safe. We know it's quite safe. I know it's very safe. So we should open cannabis coffee houses in the UK and ban the Dutch. What do we get from this Queen? A Christmas message about Jesus. You know, the crucifixion religion. We've seen through all that. We've had that shoved down our throats all our lives. The simple truth is that putting an image of a man nailed to a cross into children's minds is child abuse. Telling children that Jesus is the only way is bullying them into submission to the pastor. Telling them that Jesus died for their sins, Jesus died for your sins, is mental abuse. How is a child supposed to cope with that? that? You know, to mean these trivial sins are responsible for this barbaric human sacrifice. The virgin birth and the resurrection are obvious lies. Obvious lies. That we're being taught, brainwashed into believing that being English or British He's believing in the monarchy and Christianity. It's time for both of them to go. If we look at the scriptures, the Bible ends with cannabis growing everywhere, the tree of life, growing in the midst of the street, which is inside people's houses, yielding its fruit all the year round growing under lights, under grow lights, and on either side of the river, 
which means on both sides of the tracks, in all classes of society, all classes of society are smoking cannabis, and yet it is the black youth on the streets that are being victimised by the police stop and search or stop and frisk, harassment, to intimidate, to instil fear, just like the crucifixion religion is just to instil fear and obedience to this tyranny. All cannabis charges and malicious prosecutions. They don't arrest their own children for smoking cannabis. They arrest the young black kids for smoking cannabis. And then they attack the gangs. The gangs are doing a worthwhile social service with their deals on wheels delivery service. And we're grateful to them. They provide delivery service from the people with the big houses where they can grow their big cannabis farms. So it's still helping the rich. So realize why are the Dutch permitting cannabis for their own use? And why are we not? Why are we have this horrible religion of crucifixion, of human sacrifice, put into our heads and our children's heads. You know, the lies about virgin birth and resurrection, none of which was in the early, early Gospels. It's a Roman invention. The Gospel is a scam. It's a scam. Conversion is bullying with the fear of death. A loving God, a loving Father, would never sacrifice His Son. A loving Father has no intermediary to His children. That loving Father is Brahman, 